Hey guys, um, I couldn't find the original video that I did of this, so I thought I would do you another one really quickly. Um, www.upwork.com, I'm just going to show you how to post a job um, and where to see the responses so that you can look to try and outsource the building of your website so you can concentrate on um, other more important things like revenue generation and education. So um, you log in, just using the login button up there. Um, I'm already pre-programmed because I have an account, but if you haven't got an account yet, the sign up button is just at the top here. So once you're into your account, apologies, my internet is slightly slow today. Um, I've got no currently open jobs. Effectively, all you do is it gives you this big green button here. Click on there. And then you can just decide between the two different things that you're um, looking at. So. The, this is kind of where I tend to spend um, most of my time in the flexible working uh, space. So you can either reuse a previous job, which you won't have because you haven't done it yet, in which case you, you, you can just create a new one here. Um, but just for ease and speed, I'm going to just add one that I've done before. You see I've used this for a number of different things. Um, whiteboard explainer video. So this is the whiteboard explainer video that you'll see on my website, uh, which explains how we work as a business. So um, that's what I wanted. I wrote that and then I created a job spec, if you like. Um, looking to find someone that's proficient in whiteboard explainer videos that can help me create an explainer video. I'd like to use it. Um, in, on this website. This was an example of a competitor's video that I wanted to try and replicate. Um, I wanted it to be 60 seconds. My budget for it was $50. Um, and if you've got the right experience, etc., then please apply. You can also then attach a file if you've got any pictures or examples or anything you want to kind of put in there in terms of um, demonstrating stuff you want them to look at. You can then say, okay, well, this is a one-time project, which for something like a whiteboard explainer video, it will be a one-time project. Um, something like um, connecting your domain name to your WordPress, one-time project. Uh, but you might have ongoing data scraping, like we talked about last night, in which case that would be an ongoing project. So you just pick the right one. How many freelancers are you looking for? One or more. Um, and then down here, you can enter the skills. So you can sort of suggest that you want English... Um, sort of speaking, whether they um, have got written skills, you know, it depends on what you actually want. You can just basically put the different skills in there. It's not essential, but it's good to try and narrow it down a little bit. Um, what you'd like to pay, so pay by the hour or pay a fixed price. Um, this is basically your starting point, line in the sand. You'll find that people will apply that want to charge you less and want to charge you more. So you just put your budget in there. Um, and then select. Now, I actually usually use entry level. I find the quality of the people great, but any there's been a couple I've used intermediate, but I've never used expert because I find them too expensive. Um, but that's only for the sort of work that I've needed. I haven't needed anything super technical, so um, it's all been very kind of lower level admin. So I've been okay here. But depending on what the work is, you might want to go for an expert. Um, the type of freelancers, so uh, people on Upwork, but also people outside of Upwork can view this. So whether it comes up in places like Google when people are searching for work. So you, I usually just put public so that everybody can apply. Um, and if you know any freelancers that you want to invite, then you can do, but you won't at this point uh, as you're brand new. Any preferred qualifications? Again, you just pick if you want an individual, which is just somebody working by themselves, or whether you want an agency to pick it up and manage a freelancer for you. Actually, with an agency, when you've got ongoing work, um, an agency is great because they will, um, if, if your freelancer is ill or on holiday or something like that, they will just put someone else on the work and actually your work still gets done. So um, just depends on what the job is, really. Um, the success score, this is the sort, so when you are a freelancer, when you've completed a job, your um, customer, so you guys, will get to score the freelancer that you've used. And so you can actually, um, the freelancers can start to charge more money, the better scores and the better results that they've had historically. So you can choose what kind of um, experience and quality you're looking at. Um, how much experience they've got working on Upwork, where they're based, if it matters, it could be just any, 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 I tend to just do anything. Um, if you've got any screening, screening questions, so I wanted to see some samples of whiteboard videos that they've been responsible for. But to add a question, you just click on here, create my own question, put it in a box here. 
Um, and if you want to add any more, you can just go ahead and do that. And if you want a cover letter or not, and then you literally just post the job. Now I'm not going to do it right now because obviously it will post my job again. Um, but if you put a preview, it'll basically come up like a job spec comes up on any of the kind of read.co.uk or any of those websites. And then what will happen is you will start to get, if I go back to my jobs, uh, you will start to get previously filled and closed. You'll start to get applications. So what will happen is it will come up here with applicant numbers, and um, it will start to say you've got five or six or seven people who have applied. You can then go into it, and you can actually then um, sort of start to research the freelancers. It's also worth having a little play in here um, and looking at you know the sorts of um, tabs and everything that you've got. You can also pull up reports. So from an accounting and expenses perspective, you can actually pull up like the timesheets, the transactions, the um, work diaries and all those sorts of things. Um, it's a really, really good website to use. So this work diary basically means you can um, its technology will take a snapshot of their work on a ra at random times. So you'll be able to see screenshot images here of the, work, of the websites that they've been on. So you can check that they're on the right sites for the work that you're paying them to do. So um, I'll leave you guys to explore a little bit more. But I just wanted to show you how to post a job. So you can hopefully start to get your website, um, at least linking your domains to your WordPress or your Wix or whatever you decide to use um, platform. Um, and potentially even getting somebody to write your content, considering SEO and keyword, etc, etc. Um, good luck with it and um, let me know how you get on. Cheers, bye.